Somebody gave us the, the, the well, it's, they didn't give it to us, but the Jared Fogel tape is out there. Jovell said, do you want to listen to it? I don't know. Do you, uh, everybody like, no. Nah. Everybody saying a little too, <laughs> a little too creepy. <laughs> Y'all uh, must have heard it. In my hotel room. In your hotel room? Yeah, they're on CNN. Oh, really? Is it that bad? Oh, man, oh, come on. We gotta shit, hear now you make me want to hear it. <laughs> if it's Joe Bell approved. Then. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I think I might have it up. <laughs> you just sold us on that, God. <laughs> yeah, you only make, man, you can't put shit out there like that and, make, and think people don't, I'm not, they're not going to jump in. I like the way you were talking about y'all was doing my hotel room. I thought like you were like in there like masturbating. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He went in there with Jared. Yeah. Like, hey, man, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and his penis between two slices of bread and shit. <laughs> Six inches, by the way. Uh, I want to hear this now in a way that, because. I played it just a little bit earlier and I stopped because we were about to get into the show. But even the guy who's about to play like, yeah, man, I, I got to warn this shit is fucked. <laughs> we hear from Fogel himself. First, a warning. This is really ugly. Fucked stuff. up. <laughs> Randy K reports. Remember Jared from Subway? <laughs> Remember Jared this fat Fogel. fuck? <laughs> Subway pitch man, now child porn convict. For the first time, sharing sick fantasies with a Florida woman he trusted. She says she secretly recorded his every word. Damn. Listen to him describing how he lured children in. You know, we just sort of start talking or whatever, and we start just sharing stories, and then, you know, we get a little closer and a little closer and a little closer, and before you know it, you know, it's, you know, it's just, it's just starts to happen. The apparent recordings were made by Rochelle Herman Walrand who became suspicious of Fogel's desires for young girls after he appeared on her radio show. She picked some ugly ones, too. <laughs> 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 you know, I tell you, man, this is one of the things, one of the things I don't like about these. I mean, because this is bad. I'm not defending Jared at all. Fuck that dude. But uh, what I don't like, like, they show you something that's already terrible, and then they got to sensationalize it by can you see how they were putting like children's playgrounds in the background and, yeah. and swings and shit it's like come on y'all you know everything we, was, was show him walking in slow motion yeah 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 playing that ominous music mm -hmm. jerry the fucker of children <laughs> <laughs> she told dr phil she worked with the fbi recording fogel's twisted desires for five years the fbi would not comment but the u.s attorney acknowledges it took the tapes into account before charging fogel Herman Walren tricked Fogel into thinking she was setting up an underage party for him. Ooh. On the recordings, Fogel suggests it's easiest to seduce children who are vulnerable. I think that girl from the broken home could be a possibility, you know? Mm -hmm. I definitely think that. And, um... You know, just show some affection. God she damn, said, this motherfucker was a straight-up predator. Yo, yeah, shit, just the way he sounds. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's, that, so you know. Like, God damn, dude. Yeah. He's just breathing heavy and shit. I just take <laughs> girls from broken homes and, yeah. uh, you know, show them some affection. I mean, this he had a whole method. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I had a system. Yeah, this motherfucker's sick. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, look, that goes without saying, because usually I think when people say, oh, a person is sick, you know, you use that kind of loosely, you know, but... This motherfucker, he's, he's, he's ill, man. Yeah. I, and that's what I said. I said, look, I don't want to, I don't want to have any prejudices on anybody. But you know, because everybody's talking about, oh man, you know, you know, somebody's guilty when they start wearing that hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, trying to. And I was like, yeah, because I know some some other people are like, well, it's raining outside. I was like, ain't nobody else got on a raincoat. <laughs> And they dry as hell. He's the only one trying to spray mist on the shit. <laughs> with a fucking hoodie on. Uh, yeah, man. And I feel bad for Subway because Subway had nothing to do with it. Right. They had already cut him loose, but it's too late now. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, too he's little, only too identified with Subway. He, yeah. He was. He's <laughs> yeah, literally every. <laughs> it's true because every time you'll see a picture of him or any kind of like thing where it was an event, it's always a Subway event. Or Subway's always in the. That logo's always in the background yeah. somewhere. So. Yeah. That, <laughs> so they're getting the worst publicity ever right now. <laughs> The asshole was Subway. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, he was like Subway with legs, man. He was he, he was a living embodiment of Subway. Yeah. And now that and now they gotta deal with this because this shit is so bad. I 
Subway, I'm sorry. I know y'all nothing to do with it, but it don't even make you want to eat Subway anymore. Right. Yeah. It makes me feel like I'm raping kids when I'm eating Subway I now. Mean, look, I, I exaggerate a little bit, but Jared, he was the last dude I thought would have been doing some really? shit like this. What did you know about him? I didn't know. <laughs> Nobody but you know, knew anything about him, I obviously. Fell, <laughs> I fell for the yeah, shit. The subway, mostly. <laughs> I fell for it. They showed his fat ass walking down the sidewalk. Uh, <laughs> 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 I, felt, I felt sorry for him. You know? <laughs> tuba. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody playing the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, I used to feel like, oh, he made it. Yeah. He did it. And now he's raping children. I think he's always been doing yeah. that, apparently. She says Fogel told her he even fantasized about touching her own children. Wait, let me see your kids naked. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. He said, <laughs> if y'all didn't hear that, he said, he's talking to a woman who has kids, and he's, he feels so comfortable now. He's saying, um, you have kids? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Would you ever let me see them naked? I mean, he's asking, like, you know, like, hey, can I get you a sandwich? <laughs> you know? Very <laughs> casually. Would that be okay? Sure. They're very comfortable. Mm-hmm. How often do you have kids again? Ten and eleven. Oh, they're too old. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, Mark. <laughs> you say some shit like, I oh, mean, I shouldn't laugh at you. <laughs> but I'm thinking it. So that's why. <laughs> Mark said, hey, that's 10 11, that's too old, man. Are you a boy, you a boy, and, a, boy and a girl? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see him naked. We're going to have so much fun, baby. We're going to have so much fun. You have no idea. He also confirmed her fears that he did have a thing for middle school girls. Well, I love the middle school thing. Yeah. Girls are starting to get the you know? Yeah. Because you know how much I love the And Fogel said he'd love to watch the school girls in the locker room. Yeah, I'd love to try to do that at some point. Yeah. That would be so amazing. I'd love to like, put the video camera in there, you know? Like, I picture him talking. He has his dick in his hand right now. Like, he's getting off just by this conversation. And she's not joining in. She's going, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's one yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like keep talking. Answers, like yeah. she's just trying to hold back her gag reflex. Yeah, yeah. I feel so bad for that woman, man. Me too. Five yeah. years of that too. God damn. I, you just don't. Like y'all can't catch him yet. That's what I'm I, saying. I can't, I can't take no more of these calls. Man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's practically about to fuck my kids, man. Get, get this guy, yeah. please. Fogel even asked the woman on the other end of the phone which of the children attending will be most promising and for a description of her children's male and female friends, asking for specifics on those who are hot and cute. In the end, there was, of course, no party. Back up. Back up. <laughs> that was a party right there. Yeah. <laughs> it was a party. <laughs> that motherfucker blanket party. Fuck this dude, man. Fuck this dude. You know, that there's some people. Your hero. That's so sad. <laughs> I never use those words. You did. No, I didn't. Yeah. So I said he makes a great hero sandwich, man. I just, I never said <laughs> Come on, don't don't admit don't don't omit words from what I said, man. Man, you practically fuck kids yourself at this point. <laughs> oh, see, that's why I can't eat a subway no more, man. Fuck, I subway. I'm really. I hope y'all don't suffer behind this. I really they don't. They are. They already suffered. I know, and, I, and they shouldn't have to. They don't deserve it. But they picked them. Fuck, Apparently, man. they no one vetted this motherfucker <laughs> good enough. So I mean, that's kind of what you get when you don't do that. Who, who would imagine that the clown wouldn't be the creepy one? I know. <laughs> right. I know. When like Ronald, Ronald McDonald, McD you can trust. Well, Ronald McDonald, who's looking at you and just kind of like, nah, stay away from my kids, man. <laughs> 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 stay away from my burgers, man. <laughs> Ronald McDonald looks how Jared actually is. Right. <laughs> <laughs> shit, Ronald McDonald probably the one that set this shit up. Oh, <laughs> hey, very true. Shit, that's probably Ronald McDonald in the line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got kids. <laughs> you know that motherfucker probably wanted to rape the hamburger a few times. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I you <laughs> little, little striped outfit, little yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, man. I tell you, it, I have I have this whole thing about I I don't like to come in, and I don't like to uh, I don't like to look at things in black and white. I don't like to go in and uh, look at people and say, yeah, that person deserves to die. That person deserves, deserves to rot in jail. And I even do that sometimes when it comes to child molesters. I know people don't want to hear this, but I think, like, some of these people are sick and they need help. And, you know, if you some guy that keeps raping children, you got a problem. But those are people who know they have a problem, admit it. When a, you get a slimy motherfucker like uh -huh. this. Trying to work it. Trying to work that yeah. shit. You know, when he just pre – all this shit is just, like, premeditated. Uh -huh. He's got a he's got an M.O. and shit. Man, fuck this dude. What's that? 
damn, I didn't even know where you came from. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> she mad to him said the nice way, he's gonna get a party. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, he's gonna he's gonna get his. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, all right. <laughs> Damn, she's getting graphic with this shit, too. I'm yeah. going to take a sandwich and just stuff it right up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that dude, man. <laughs> and saying it with that nice smile. <laughs> I'm going to fuck him up. <laughs> oh, well, people.